I'm going to tell you a quick little story. Um, English is my second language. That's the part that you need to know before you listen to the story. So I say things that make sense to me because I directly translate them. Colloquialisms, things that are a thing in the country I come from or where I was raised, uh, but are definitely not a thing here. Um, I want you to imagine a very heated, intense, not angry, uh, <laughs> but intensely focused conversation in an office or on a Zoom with your team. That's what happened. And then in order to move forward, I say something like this. You ready? Take notes. Be like a truffle swine. Be like a truffle swine. And I want you to imagine that it, what's happening to you right now is exactly what happened to my team. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that even mean? Let me tell you. So that you can tell other people when they feel stuck or when they want to uh, race past a difficult situation to be more like a truffle swine. You can tell yourself this. This might actually be a t-shirt that's going to come out pretty soon. Be more like a truffle swine. This is what truffle swines do. They look for truffles. They hunt for them. They can smell a truffle from a considerable distance away. I don't know what the distance is, but it's intentional and trained and accurate. They find these truffles that are buried and stuck in the root system of a tree. They dig them up and point to them and they know exactly how to get to them. You and I, we're clueless. We just love the truffles. If you're into truffles, which I very much am, but we don't know how to find them. A truffle swine looks for the good in the midst of a really yucky, murky, cool, cold, dungy, foresty situation because that is where truffles grow. I want you to imagine what it would be like if in the middle of challenge and dissonance and difficulty um, with yourself, your family, your community, your team, what if you if you could just stop for a moment and be more like a truffle swine. Look for the good. There's always something really genuinely good, not fluffy, not a distracting um, sort of a piece of, of glitter and shine, but something inherently good, valuable in that situation. Honor where you are. Honor the dissonance. Um, don't just tolerate it, right? Really, let's, let's get really good at being good at finding the the good. Have I said good enough? Be, be, be intentional about finding that good element. And listen, once you have and then you acknowledge it, maybe it's time to move on. Maybe you can do that. Um, but if, if we don't look for what we've learned, if we don't look for the treasure, what are we even doing? Why are we even engaging? What good comes out of that that dissonance or that difficulty. Isn't it important to honor where we are, to acknowledge what's hard for us, and to find that, that tiny bit of what is good? I'm not pretending that it's easy to do that. And I'm not pretending that um, there are times where perhaps it's a lot more challenging to find the good and then at other times. I'm also not pretending that you can always do it on your own. Uh, humans don't find truffles on their own, they have truffle swines for that. Maybe you need a group of people around you, um, a team member, a friend, a colleague, um, a family member who can point out what is good in the situation and support you in honoring where you're at before you just move on to the next thing. Be more like a truffle swine. And here's the part. If you can't, find somebody. Ask somebody to be a truffle swine for you. 
every metaphor breaks down at some point. But I do take great pleasure in the thought that perhaps there's at least one of you who will tell somebody today to be more like a truffle swine and then be asked where did you hear this and you can say on YouTube which makes it legit thank you for watching thank you for listening thank you for sharing and commenting please do share this I would love the hashtag be more like a truffle swine to just go wild I appreciate you have a great day see you next time